right. So, so are you guys, are you guys ready for the big conspiracy about how I about how I secretly run post? I love this. This is my, one of my favorites. I'm so happy they haven't okay. stopped. Hurry up and tell me because I got to go really right. soon. So the anti celebrity it. league zero zero says. At Josh, to notify you the real reason behind your defederation was the work of Comrade Pond and the famous Star Wars movie maker Ryan Johnson, a.k.a. Rambot2020. They have been in Graf's ear advocating for your disposal for many months. It's been their primary goal. Rand has <laughs> much exposed. influence on posts. Hashtag exposed. I've been exposed. Yeah, but, you, you know, you remember, you remember the many roundtable discussions we've had about our primary goal <laughs> is getting Joshua Moon kicked off fucking post. <laughs> you know what's fucked? You know what's fucked up? I can see why they assume that you and me were in Graf's ear to get rid of Josh, mm. but I've never asked Graf not even once about it because right. it's called respect. And so I respected the fact that Graf is friends with Josh. I was like, okay, you want to be friends with him. We have bye. literally never, ever, ever <laughs> spoken, to, spoken to Graf about his, his uh, friendship with Josh. Now, I understand that, like, I, I'm of the understanding. I know it's hard. I know it's hard to grasp the concept of respect. I, I am like, of... we didn't like it. We didn't like it, but we respect his his. I, I'm of the understanding that, like, Graf has known Josh Moon for, like, six or seven years. Like, yeah. They, they've, they've spent, like, they've spent a lot of time together. Like, uh, I, I was, in, in terms of, like, Josh and Graf knowing each other, I'm very late to the scene. Very late. Mm. And uh, I have never, ever, ever had any sort of conversation with Graf about him being friends with Josh. Not once. Yeah. And you can't prove it either. Even if you go and hack my post account and read my DMs, you'll see that 99% of my DMs with Graf is me, like, begging him to restart the streamer. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, Q. Farms. I know it, it's a concept you don't understand respecting people's decisions and who they want to be friends with. But also, so I mean, sure, and I, what, what's, what's, what's silly about this is, like, uh, Josh tries to feed into their delusions. Like, they, these people... <laughs> These people I'm glad don't know Graf. I'm glad. Pom, I'm glad can, can you imagine me trying to exert any pressure on Graf? I, I can. Graf, Graf is because... like an uber libertarian. If I tried to, if I tried to express any sort of pressure on him, like he'd go fucking ballistic. Yeah. Have you, like some some people might be familiar with like uh, Graf having freakouts. Graf, Graf would freak the fuck out on me if I ever tried I to tell him what to I, I do. Don't li I don't like to call them freakouts. I call them spurgs. You know, right. uh, um, okay. yeah, spur did... Spurgouts is a much more PC, <laughs> much more PC description than, than because freakouts. Because I would call them freakouts because they're not illogical. Yeah. No, I have, uh, I have zero influence on Graf. Uh, for, for the stuff that he's done for me, setting up the Restreamer, I'm very grateful. And uh, I love Post as, a, as an alternate Twitter. But here's the thing, right? I give Graf money. I'm a client of Graf. And I'm gratified that he calls me friend. Mm. I have no influence on him, and nor have I ever tried to, ex to influence any, to exert any influence on him. I'd be a fucking damn fool to try and tell Graf what to do. Oh my god. That I know they just don't understand the concept of respect. I would never I would never cross the line with Graf and tell him who he can speak to, who can be friends with. Because you know that I don't under I'm not him. Maybe he has a strategy I don't know about. Maybe he, he owes, you know, XYZ person a favor or maybe you know, I don't know. I, I don't you don't cross the line and you know well, Gra I'm Gra not his girlfriend or also, anything like that. So the uh, Graf is like a dancer in the dark and I say like shine on you crazy diamond because like you may have some retarded libertarian views, but he you know, like he, he puts his he puts his literally puts his money where his where his mouth is. He's committed to free speech mm. on the internet and he's a yeah, hmm. he's not, a loyal. Not only is that like his stated thing, but he actually, like, he's a computer wizard, and he actually can, he can spin things out of, you know, you can have a thousand people saying I want free speech on the internet, and I said, like, well, can yes, you help us? Can you exactly. help us achieve it? No, 
Are, are you willing to help crowdfund someone who can? No. Well, okay, that that's a that's a that's a thousand motes of dust. Graph mm. ha, has the means and the knowledge to actually do things like this. He, I, I find him immensely valuable. But um, I, we, we should probably actually talk about what kicked this up just very briefly. Kiwi Farms has been uh, the Kiwi. Uh, I think it's KiwiFarms.cc on the Fediverse. So they've been they've been defederated from post, and they're very very fucking salty and angry about it. But guess why? Because uh, these fucking drama niggers of Kiwi Farms were the people who were perpetuating these lies about Graf being a, a, a promoter of CSAM. But then they were they were posting CSAM on KiwiFarms.cc. I don't know whether Josh has done anything about it. But Graf did something about it. Graf defederated from KiwiFarms.cc after they were posting CSAM. And if this sounds reminiscent of, um, you know, like, the, I'm, I'm not above criticising my own friends, even even people I admire upon. I think uh, I maintain this, and you know, I've told Sven himself, I said you were you were too quick to delete your account and disavow post. Because... Yeah, we- because someone ran around posting CSAM on on post for three hours, Graf stepped in, banned that person. But uh, but you know, but, but Sven saw it and just immediately hit the eject button, and he won't come back. And I, hope he, I, I think he... I, I I'm crossing my arms, and I'm saying Sven was wrong. I hope he reconsiders, or they start their own incense. Sugar Dust because... says this, this stuff is so petty. It's it's really not that petty when people are posting, like, literal, illegal fucking child sexual abuse material. But uh, the thing is, like, these are the people... Because, like, Kiwi Farms really is, like, a uh, uh, like uh, containment receptacle for, like, the worst excuses for humanity. Mm-hmm. Um these were people Especially now for that over, over are year, gone. for over a year saying that like Graf is into CSAM and and then they posted CSAM on their own instance and Graf defederated. And so they they have to now they've spun up this thing that I'm the secret power behind the f- throne and uh, I I'm exerting my dark my dark um uh, what's it worm tongue my worm tongue influence on Graf. What do you mean secret power? Hmm. I mean, you just openly run post, right? Yeah, but uh, I love it. Like Kiwi Farms has descended. Well, it's been <laughs> it's been a while. This is a cult. Ki- Ki- Kiwi Farms is just openly writing Absolutely fan fiction cult. now, and they're be- it's and, not and, a they're fan- and their fan fiction, as we move on to the next screenshot, is being is being backed up by by Josh, who should fucking know better. I mean, I was Do never you- friends with Josh, but Josh was quote unquote friends with Graf for like seven fucking years. Uh, we got, we have finished this post though. You finished reading yeah. it, by the way. Rand has much influence <laughs> on post. That's right. So, interesting. You interesting. It. interesting. Uh, what influence on post do I have? You personally approve every single emoji that goes to post. Oh yeah. If you don't like one, it gets to yeet. If he gives a thumbs down, that's it. That's right. Uh, I I. I, much much like the Roman emperors of old, you know, my thumbs up, my thumbs down. I, I am I am the man who makes decisions. All right. Here's the thing. I don't even understand how post works. I, I, I just kind of use it like Twitter. His stated reasons is merely an excuse. Okay, so Graf's reasons for defederating from KiwiFarms.cc was because people were openly and brazenly posting CSAM, and and there was there was absolutely no cleanup done by the ad the admins. No, because so, you so told them to. Graf, Graf, Graf's, Graf's you... stated excuse, which is like, "Holy shit, you're posting pictures of underage kids being abused." That's just an excuse, Pon. <laughs> you told Graf, "That's it. KiwiFarms is done." Done. Get rid of them. And, right. and Graf is like, yes, master. Yes, yeah, yeah. We, uh, I shall do your bidding. I shall do your bidding. Rand <laughs> probably put the pressure on hard enough and he caved. Right, so I'm going to... Let me let me go and check something out here. Oh, man. Radix still hasn't responded to my emails after five days. Wait, oh, did Radix delete it? Oh, wait, no. Oh, no. 
It's been nine days. Radix hasn't responded to my DM in nine days, Pawn. <laughs> Why is Radix not talking to me? Maddie talks to me. She's washing her hair. I'm sorry to, to tell She's you this. She's been washing her fucking hair for nine days. <laughs> Man, if only I could exert influence on Post, then I could get Radix to reply to my DMs. Maybe she thinks you're a drama nigger. <laughs> <laughs> Where would she ever get that idea? I don't have no idea. All right, hang on. So I gotta. All right, hang on. Let me check the timestamp on it. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something here, which I don't usually do. That's all right. I don't think there's anything compromising here. This is my last conversation with Graf. It was on Friday, March the 24th. Hello, Graf. I can't connect to the restreamer. I tried updating the stream key. No joy. Graf doesn't respond for five minutes. Graf, I was cooking. Try now. Works now. Thank you, Graf. Sorry I was away from the keyboard, but the shoe I'm making will be 100% worth it. Have a nice din-dins. That was a month ago. That is the dark and enormous influence I have on Graf. That a month ago, I asked him to please restart the restreamer. Holy shit, the power you wield. The power you wield, man! It's so subtle, Pond. I don't even need to talk to him, like, more than once a month. Crazy, isn't it? Imagine being this yes. much of Shadow Emperor. All right. uh, Rand probably put the pressure on hard enough and he caved. Because that's what Graf does. You put pressure on him and he caves. There are... This is what I... Like, this is where we're going into fantasy. Pod, you're going to love this. There are lots of backdoor deals around the Randbot post crowd. That's right. That's right. But I, 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 want, him to, I want him to expand. Well, you know, you know. I would call them. Call, what you'll are, never know. What what are the what are the what are the back the backdoor deals? I mean, apparently there Randall's are lots 24 of twenty-four hour ups going. <laughs> oh, Trouble Turtle says we all know you have a secret way to message Graf. <laughs> I don't even have him on my threema, and uh, as Pong can attest, I barely use my threema. I'm not even sure Graf we uses threema. You don't know this chat, but we secretly have a weekly meeting with Graf, mm. and we and we we all have it on Fallout seventy six. Oh, <laughs> the price... oh, that's where the deals are broken. The deals are broken in Fallout seventy six. <laughs> the price you least expect. Oh damn! Oh pond, um, pond, why'd you give the game away like that? <laughs> don't worry, uh, they can't stop the 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 storm. It's already here. It's yeah, already right. it's already. So here's the here's the one statement I'll agree with him. When Rambot says drama niggers, he means you and your users. Oh, oh yeah, no, I absolutely do. Josh and all all you faggot little baby spiders. Yeah, when I say dra drama nigger, yeah, I mean I do mean you because you are drama niggers. All right, number two. So here's Grab. Oh, sorry. Here's Josh. I mean, Rand has been crying but hurt about his Jew wife's big honkin' schnoz being an emoji on .cc for literally a year at this point. All right, stop right there. He's Irish. La you see, the last update I had on KiwiFarms.cc was that Graf had defederated it, and that actually had me... That had, that, you know why that stopped me, Pon? Not the defederation. Because I'd heard that KiwiFarms.cc had ceased to exist. Like, I'd heard it had stopped being used. And so my first update that it was actually back in use was when it was defederated for posting CSAM. So um, if they made an emoji out of my wife, I didn't know about it. I know they have an... I was aware that they have an emoji... Uh, of who they think my wife is on cozy.tv. So uh, I'm going to have to ask you, I'm going to have to ask you uh, this one, Josh, on uh, what lead, what led you to believe that I'd been crying butthurt uh, about 
an emoji that I wasn't aware that you had on a Fetty inverse, uh, a Fetty instance that I thought was dead. You know, you know what? I had no idea. I just say I had no idea either. <laughs> Yeah, so, like, so here's, here's the thing, Josh. Here's the thing, Josh. It's fucking news to me. It's news to me. I heard about shit I didn't know. Wait a minute, Zerga, you're right. Josh is confusing around with Borzor. That's right. That's right. I thought they had an emoji of Borzor's wife. Isn't that what it was? I could swear. Something, no, Josh is doing something with Borzor. Okay, hmm. even when I was still talking to Ralph, he got on voice once and yelled at me about how he lives in a country where what he says is illegal and if the government wanted to arrest him, they could. Uh, that seems to be quite the distortion. By the way, I didn't get on voice. I was a co-host. I mean, I suppose technically I get on voice. I mean, I get on voice to host this show. But uh, no, I was a co-host and, uh, no, I think you're... Having trouble remembering things. Because remember that remember that clip we played the other day where uh, Noel said that I I he literally never approached me to to uh, give give the give the dirt on Ralph. I believe I literally showed his DM on the on the show. This would have been this would have been like Christmas two thousand twenty one, right? It was just after the the split over Ralph joining up with Cozy TV. Yep. Right? Yep. Yeah. Josh claims that never happened. Josh claims that he never approached me to get oh, we on play Farms. I clipped that. We gotta play it right when you're done reading this because it's the funniest fucking shit. He he's so fucking butthurt about it that he retconned uh, it. He's the, like, that yeah. never happened. That never happened. I never talked to Ren about that. Except the problem <laughs> is it did happen and uh, it was recorded Holy live. So, shit. Like, Josh, king of the A-logs, should know that I you can't died. get away with, like, telling lies like this. But then again, I guess he I guess he doesn't expect people to check his shit. I mean, that's always the, the nope. grand conceit, right? You don't, yep. you don't actually expect to be fact-checked. Well, I live, I live in perpetual fear of being fact-checked, which is why I circumspect in my claims. I understand and respect a person's desire for anonymity, but we could just stop right there. What the fuck? What? The, That's a fucking lie. That's yeah. a fucking no, the, lie. The, the, the grand, because he's the grand lying. Poobah, the grand poobah of the internet's premier life destruction site says, I understand and respect people's desire for anonymity. But my greatest regret really? is, not, is, is not doxing Jim. <laughs> Jim! Jim, I love you, Jim. Jim, Jim, <laughs> so you are my best internet friend. Jim, I loved you so much. Why didn't you let me ruin your life, Jim? Oh my god, his sperg up but not being able to dox the gym and then in the state like two seconds later is like, oh thank you to support Jim. <laughs> thank you for helping me, Jim. Mm. Do the fact could you I could dox you, Jim. Fuck you, it's my worst regret. Fuck you, Jim. Huh. <laughs> that still makes me laugh. But so much. people like Rand are willing to sacrifice more essential freedom of speech to protect themselves specifically. What? Huh? Willing to sacrifice more essential freedom of speech to protect themselves specifically. Uh, I, I'm, anyone got any in, insights as to what he meant by this? I think he. I think the fact you talk means you sacrifice your okay, desire I'm, for. I'm sacrificing freedom of speech by using my freedom of speech to talk about international Jewish power. Yes, I think that's what he's trying to get. Is right. that, that's what it sounds like the context is to me. What do you think, chat? I'm using it, it so like... I'm using it so I'm losing it. I, I don't. I think yeah. the next line is more. Uh, what yeah, he's yeah no, no, we're moving on to that one. Rand is willing to go on air and wave around the Nazi flag. Yes, and talk about impregnating anime girls. Okay, so we need some <laughs> context for that, Josh, because like he's not as smart as he wants you to think he is. I think he once joined us while we were playing the uh, the pregameme the pregameme clip as a joke, and and he he at least acts as if he's convinced that that's that's the entirety of what we do on the show. What we do on this show, uh, we we talk a little bit about international Jewish power, and and then we talk about pregameme.
and total nigger death and how he wants to find a fine he wants a final solution to Jews and that the Holocaust didn't happen but it should have. But only if people are forced to pretend he didn't dox himself years ago. Nice runaway sentence there, Josh. Nice nice gish gallop, Josh. Yes, I'm gonna use the big words on you, Josh. You're you're doing a gish gallop. One of these things is not like the other. Can you guess which one it is? By the way, Josh has said that I'm, in his opinion, I'm the dumbest person on the internet. You open your mouth mm. to talk, and so you're sacrificing yourself mm. in your freedom of speech. Any, 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 gives a bunch of examples. Like, man, look at all this freedom of speech that Rand is doing. Very naughty. Mm. <laughs> anyway, once upon a time, Josh saw this. Now, this file's corrupted. It stopped somewhere in the middle. But uh, as long as we've got a, the, the Ben Garrison basketballs falling down, you can get the impression. It's a shame this thing got, got corrupted because at the end it says this film is dedicated to the brave Mujahideen fighters of Afghanistan. <laughs> if, someone, if someone's got a proper version, if someone's got a non-scuffed version of this, please send it in because I want the full clip back. Yeah, that's where it stops, unfortunately. It's a shame. It's a shame. The video got scuffed. Let's play that 35 seconds again. But yes, uh, Josh at least pretends that he's convinced that this is the entirety of the format we do here. I mean, we are pro-natal. We are pro-natal. Men and women should get together, love each other, make babies and raise them together. And apparently that upsets Josh. But then again, you shouldn't be surprised. Why would that upset Josh? Because he just well, slammed his fucking penis in a car door? He did slam his penis in the car door. But the other thing we need to mention now... I don't have it to hand, but I literally did it on the kill stream uh, a couple of years ago, back uh, when I was still working with the kill stream and Josh was uh, feuding with Ralph. There's this little website called uh, Something Awful. You may have heard of it. We we may have talked about uh, Something Awful occasionally. We may have talked about its founder, Richard Kayanka Lotax. We may have literally like done a tribute stream to him after he committed suicide. <laughs> I guess that's one and, uh, way to put it. On that forum about 15, 16 years ago, over a multiple over multiple posts, Joshua Moon detailed an elaborate fantasy about how he wanted to murder his mother. And yeah, she's still alive and now is like one of the people who has actually helped keep Josh in business. But um, Joshua Moon, as an angsty turnager... Uh, didn't appreciate being raised in a single mother household. Hated his mother. Felt his mother his mother was just too obsessed with things and paid more attention to her pet cats than him. And uh, published uh, th this elaborate series of posts where uh, he wanted to ritualistically torture his mother's cats and then have her walk in and see what he'd done to the cats and then sneak up behind her and slit her throat. What the fuck? Yeah, Josh wrote that. Not only did he write that, he published, he, he posted it on somethingawful.com. So, all I'm, all I'm saying is uh, when Joshua Moon goes and makes extraordinary claims, when Joshua Moon deliberately misinterprets things, when Joshua Moon tries to justify his behaviour... Just remember that somewhere inside Joshua Moon, Cripple Dick and all, is a 16-year-old telling the entire world that he wants to slit his mother's throat while she looks at tortured cats. And that guy runs Kiwi Farms. Sounds like a fucking wackadoo. Are you surprised that he's a wackadoo? No, not at all. Also, you 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 leave out the part that you, you did all in Batman voice. 
That's right. I did the uh, no Joker voice. I did the whole thing in the Joker oh, voice. Oh, Joker, Joker. Jennifer, uh, tell you about my mother. Now I remember that, that. I think that was one of my finest hours back in the day. Like Ralph was in stitches, and this is this is like like pre Zanny Ralph. <laughs> he was laughing his fucking Aww. guts up. But he was in tears. Sorry, I was I was trying to find the 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 Half Life Two. Oh, sorry, not Half Life Two. The the Team Fortress Two. I slammed my penis in the car door version. You know the one where the heavy does it. And the door falls up. Oh, I got it! I got it! Josh wishes he could be the heavy. I slammed my penis in the car door. You slammed your penis in the car door. You don't know magic. <laughs> So, for those who don't know the origin of this, Josh Moon went, much like he made an elaborate series of posts about how he wants to slit his mother's throat, he made an elaborate series of posts. Now, I don't know why the fuck you would do this. He's, he was just talking to his spiderlings in the Discord. Now, given the makeup of, um, of the Kiwi Farms users... You know, literally the worst people to ever exist. Why would you go on the Kiwi Farms Discord as the owner of Kiwi Farms and spend an entire evening talk talking about your erectile dysfunction? Oh, I found the Joker clip that you were just referencing, by the way. But we can Thank play you. it as soon as you're done with this. Uh, yeah, we'll play that reading. In a yeah, we got one more. Yeah. We got one more screenshot after this, and then then we'll do that. But um, Joshua Moon decided to spent an entire well I, I think he just i think he just unburdens himself about his various neuroses on a regular basis to the worst possible fucking people to unload to right so that's a like, group therapy if, session if, yeah much. no look, I, i'm going to i'm going to unburden myself of some of my personal insecurities huh better make sure i'm surrounded by fucking sociopaths when i do it right well Josh decided to tell everyone that he has erectile dysfunction. And, uh, guess what happens when you tell a whole bunch of sociopaths that you have erectile dysfunction? Everybody makes fun of you. Everybody makes fun of you. And so, Josh, I, I, Josh just has to pretend that it never happened, but it literally is why he hates me more than carefuls. When Josh approached me about, uh, I was like, oh, you, you've split you've split from the kill stream. Uh, jump on Kiwi Farms and tell us all about it. I'll even do a show. He literally offered to do a show where I like uh, do do a thing. And all I sent him in response was the classic Parappa the Rapper, <laughs> directly referencing his erectile dysfunction. And he hates me more than Keffels. He hates me more than Keffels to this day because I sent him this fifteen second clip. I slam my penis in the car door. You slam your penis in the car door. And so he took that personally. <laughs> but now he denies it ever happened. Yeah, I love his retcon. It's the best. I cackled. I cackled when yeah. he got caught in. The, the funny thing was, like, listening to try to explain it, I said, like, that never actually happened. The reason I hate Rand is because he's, he's really, really dumb and, and his voice is irritating. Oh, uh, so, so, by the way, posties who are particularly mentally defective like to complain in the, uh, like to complain the forum is either left wing or doing the Fed's job forum by dogzing right wing podcasters. I always assume they meant someone actually interesting or intelligent, but knowing it's probably Rand makes more sense. Yeah, so, because, of course, remember, like, just Thank maintains you. that I'm, I'm the dumbest person to ever exist. And also, my voice is irritating. But, uh,. So he, he still has, he, it's still living rent-free in his head, the thing that I've been proven many, many yep. times over, because way, way, way mm -hmm. back in the day, back in the, back in the streamy days, I jumped on to a kill stream and I told Josh straight up that uh, your retarded libertarian idea of like, oh, it's politically neutral, 
uh, that your site will be used as a clearinghouse for the left. And guess what? His site got used as a clearinghouse for the left. And what did Josh take away from that? What did Josh take away from me telling him the exact thing that happened? What Josh took away from that is... Man, you're stupid. You're the most stupid person what never he, exists. What he took away from that is, I hate Rand. <laughs> That's what he took away from me telling him Isn't exactly he also what was going to happen now? before it happened, and then it happened, and his takeaway is, I fucking hate Rand. Josh, the NRX Josh, you are, you, Josh, you are a fucking child. You are, wow. a fu- you are a lost little child of a single mother who you have fantasies about killing, Josh. You are profoundly fucked up. I'm a faggot. Oh, so you're a faggot. <laughs> that too. Well, I mean, according to him, he can't actually enjoy uh, penis and vagina <laughs> sex. Sounds like a fag to me. I posted a Joker thing at uh, uh, Streamlinks. Sweet, I got it. All right, but we got one more here from White Dissident Radio. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's Patches, and his avatar. <laughs> yeah. His avatar is the MS Paint Alex McNabb. Sad. Wow. Can't tell me he's not obsessing. Mister Mister Alonso says, "I will repeat lies. Did you or did you not say that?" Sure did. I don't feel a bit bad about it. You keep calling me a junkie in this thread, knowing it was corrected by Rambot's co-hosts. So does everyone at TRS. Well, hold on. When was I? When was I corrected? That yeah, is we a never junkie? walked it back. We never did. Yeah. Uh, well, ever. Did anyone push back on me? I think I, the the only pushback I ever got was like people were thinking I was confusing patches with someone else. Yeah, they they thought you're mixing up patches with uh 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 fuck what was the other guy? Sort of so many of these type of guys they yeah. get mixed. Yeah, they thought I was confusing get... one tard with another tard. But no, let me tell you, Patches O'Hulahan is a salty nigger because he was kicked out of a pool party for being a drug fuck. And then he totally proved us wrong by going on manic episodes where he talks about drugs. On post, openly on post. You can go and look at him. You can go and look it up right now. I don't know what he's been posting recently because I've got him fucking blocked. But uh, you can you can go and enjoy Patches Hulahan all to yourself. I think he, I think his handle on post literally is White Dissident Radio. But there's nothing dissident or white about him. He he's a fucking drug addict, and he's fucking salty that he was kicked out of the music uh, out of the movement for being a drug addict, which is why we played the the William Luther Pierce thing. Because that exactly, exactly defines what this type of person is. Oh, he deleted his account? Good. Hmm. Good. Now he can go hang out with the Kiwi fags where he belongs. It didn't start out this way. It didn't have to be like this at all, because I had legitimate questions about TRS. Ranbot started the lie. No, I did not start the lie. And there was no lie. Literally, the reason that I started tangling with Patches on post was because Patches would sit there and make up the most ab- absurd fucking shit about TRS, and then I would I would come up and question mark him, which uh, which would send him off. So no, I didn't start a lie. What I did was, like, wonder aloud as to why Patches had such a fucking attitude problem with TRS all of a sudden when he used to be a pro-TRS guy, and then I got filled in. Then I got filled in. I got told that uh, that Patches was a fucking drug addict, and that's why he was kicked out of the pool party. Patches has done nothing to dissuade me of that information. In fact, he's only gone out of his way to confirm it by having manic drug episodes on post where he would talk about doing drugs for like 14 hours at a time. Sounds like someone who's on drugs talking about doing drugs. If you're sitting there on social media for 14 hours fucking straight talking about drugs. Uh, the other one, person we're talking about is okay, Cash. Okay, Zero Gear, look, I understand that you're retarded. And he says Rand is repeating <laughs> himself. What I'm doing is hammering home a point. Yeah, we, we have to be very repetitive for new people. Sorry, Zero Gear. 
nature propaganda. No, look, Zerogi is just negative Nancy, and he also never contributes. Fuck you, Zerogi, nigger. <laughs> I like Zero Gear. No, Who I, I miss I is Millennial. Like He's an asshole. I miss Millennial Trash. That's who I miss. He's I haven't seen him around in ages. He hated me the most. I really and I, it really felt he was sincere if it was eight. I think I drove him away. If I drove him away because I'm here, he bullied him to death. You bullied him, <laughs> Bully <laughs> side. Sorry, sorry, Melania Trash. I bully sided you. Anyway, Rest in peace. What I, What I like about Patches is, <laughs> is like his ability to his ability to make friends, make friends and influence people. So here he is, like trying to find a new new home here on Kiwi Farms. What does he immediately do? Start fighting with them. Rambot started the line. You guys keep repeating it. Why are you guys? Why are you guys on Kiwi Farms on Rambot's side? Fuck you! Fight me. That that's really smart, Patches. No, 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 no. Enjoy, Just make, enjoy, I, I, enjoy your new po- enjoy your new posting career on fucking Kiwi Farms. You fucking. Make, I know it's your post. Don't kill me. I see, I see them. And you guys keep repeating it, knowing it's not true. All right, Patches, is it true or not true that you got kicked out of a pool party for being a drug fuck? And that you were pro-TRS before you were kicked out for being a drug fuck, and then you became a TRS A-logger after being kicked out. Is that true or not true? Yes, Neo Atlas. Rand does fucking read chat. It ought. You should know better than this. All right. I really don't care what happens to any of you. Man, he, he's really going to fit in with his new new community, isn't he? The people who have been lying about me for months deserve to be lied about themselves. So what? You know, sometimes you can just sit back and watch someone in- busily engage themselves in their own self-destruction. Retard on retard crime. My favourite. Hey, what's this? Radio Ruin just dropped five bucks. Hey, Rand, since it worked out so well last time... Wait, is this sarcasm? I thought it would... I thought I would let your audience know we'll be interviewing James Mason Lays, that James Mason, on Sunday, May the 7th. Wait, James Mason is still alive? Yep, he's still alive. I thought... Uh, yeah, he lives in, like, Colorado or something. Oh, yeah. oh. Oh, I was confusing him with uh, the other guy. Uh... I can't remember the name of the other guy. Holy shit, James Mason is still alive. Oh, no, on Sunday, May the 7th, also give a sub to this Odyssey channel. Siege culture. Oh, shit. (laughs) All right. All right. Well, well, team, if you're in the market for that, James Mason, the the infamous uh, author of Siege, will be on Radio Ruin on the 7th of March. Then Radio Ruin says, also happy birthday, Hitler. Yes. Well, we're going to be, we got a bit sidetracked here with retarded e-drama, but uh, we, we got some, we got some happy birthday, Hitler schizo posts to get through. Yeah. And I got to finish my story. And that's slowing me down, Rand. <laughs> Someone posted an alien. How did they know some of these schizo posts are about Hitler meeting aliens? All right. Well, that's enough about, that's enough about Josh. That's enough about Patches. Um, here's, here's Pond's thing, though. Well, do you want me to just go full, uh, full Joker? Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Let's see. Um. Yeah. That? See, never doubt me, team. I only ever lie with an agenda. <laughs> now, occasionally I get things wrong, but I've never maliciously lied. I'm not joking. These are Joshua Moon's posts on somethingawful.com. September 18th, 2007. What is this? <laughs> Wait, can they, can they still hear me with that or is yeah. that dragging it out? No, they can still hear right. All right, here we go. Uh, let, let me give you a rundown about her. Uh, she's a, she's a slut. 
You had me at 18. <laughs> uh, she's the sole reason I'm pro-choice, you see. I'm, I'm hoping more boys They get knocked up at her age and would become stuffy parents would abort their kids. As opposed to bringing them up uh, miserably, like me. She, she's 33 or something now and is uh, single. Oh, and this is this is why this is why Josh hates me, isn't it? <laughs> he never got over this. Maybe it was so butter. He's so butter. He retconned it. Chat me out. We I wasn't here for it, but I was laughing my ass off when he retconned it. We played the clip of Josh retconning mm. him ever asking you. Oh, I was laughing. Maybe, maybe but, I was like, wrong. hysterically. Maybe I was wrong, Pond. Oh, wait. No, no one's ever wrong. They're lying with an agenda. Uh, Pond, <laughs> ma maybe I was lying with an agenda when I said that the, the reason Josh hates me more than Keffels is because I sent him, I slammed my penis in the car door. This. <laughs> this is why. This masterpiece. Th this, this masterpiece. This is why Joshua Moon fucking hates me forever. Having had a posthumous individual rated in the... Uh... In the last eight years. <laughs> of course, uh, no, the, the, uh, the last of your uh, eggs are being destroyed um, by, the, by the body. She's, she's constantly in an angry state. So she reminds me constantly about how pathetic I am. <laughs> I'm about to suck the last <laughs> slivers of joy out of her mind. And how horribly unproud she is that uh, that one such as I fell out of her womb. I want to, uh, I want to kill this lady. Uh, uh, since she has no love in her life, Besides, possibly her own parents. <laughs> I would rather sit on this computer I am on now for the rest of my life than, than spend one more loving day with her. Um, she, she, she has cats. How many? To add to some bonding to her spirit. How many cats did he kill? See, Pond, you know, it's, it's funny looking back on this. Mm. Frauf actually kind of used to be fun to be around. Yeah. I mean, you know, you, you weren't wrong to hang out with him at first. It, it, used, to, it used to be such Look a... Look how different he was. It used to be such a fun trip. Now he has blue hair. Yeah, now it's fucking miserable. <laughs> She, she speaks to these uh, two cats. Man, I, I haven't done the joke a bit for so long. I, I guess I just never had. It. I haven't had a context. Yet. Look, uh, not to not to toot my own horn, Pom, but I'm fucking nailing it. <laughs> like she would a roommate, asking them, asking them how they were, how their days have been. And if they're hungry, constantly. And God forbid one of them meows back in response. The ushering in of an hour of uh, goo gooing <laughs> while I mutter at her uselessness from the other room. If my computer could pay my bills, I'd kill my mother. <laughs> Red on kill Josh. <laughs> How many feline lives have to suffer? Where are the cats? Where are the cats? Where are the cats, Josh? Where are the cats? <laughs> Oh, God. Are, are you ready? Are you ready for the next one? <laughs> oh, oh man! First off, you know, round of applause. Yeah, <laughs> that was something amazing there, Ranbot. I have to say, <laughs> holy fucking shit!
I'm, I'm just there is more. We're not going to I can, Ralph. <laughs> Holy Jesus. There is more, though. There is more. You're right. Oh, pawn. This, this will come with no surprise. Mm. I think I was like, like, I think I was like quadruple blasted when I did this, by the way. <laughs> drunk? Really? I, I couldn't imagine you being I drunk. Swears. I swears I may have been absolutely fucking rip snorted. Don't stop. She, she's not poor. That, that isn't, uh, that isn't the problem. I, I obviously have enough money uh, to, to keep a computer running 24-7 and to keep as fat as I am. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but you see, Batman, <laughs> she's, she's stingy. <laughs> I've never, I've never gotten a dime. I don't, I didn't need to sweat blood for. Out of her 30, 60,000 K yearly paycheck, after all the yearly fees as such, almost all spare money goes into savings, savings. of some kind. Knowing her. <laughs> She'll probably fucking blow her retirement, which will be millions by the time she does retire. Stop saying For the goy. sole purpose of me not getting <laughs> jack stuff. <laughs> Agitated isn't affiliated with this. <laughs> she tells me every day to get the fuck out. God. What's up? sound like such a whiny emo bitch right about Fucking now. Fucking nailed that timing. Yeah. I need to kill her. <laughs> Just to show the Batman that I have balls at this point. And by the way, it literally, as soon as the music turned, says I need to kill her just to show her I have balls at that point. That's when it turned in the script. That he actually wrote. Jesus Christ, this guy's a fucking psycho. <laughs> this is his mother he's writing about, by the way. What? Read the next one, at least. Read the last one, right? All right, all right, all right. So, quote from Bad Spot on September. Don't read that part. I prescribe retroactive abortion, and he replies to this. I, I laughed out loud at that, Mr. Bad Spot. <laughs> you defecate on my server, and then me... What's next? <laughs> Not my mother's cats. What the? I just can't. What did he do? He did something to those cats, 100%. Like, there's no even a question. <laughs> Brought up the cats Dude, again. I know figured it out. Yeah, no, he's actually a cat Commissioner murderer. Gordon, I figured out the history. <laughs> it was all projection. It was projection for the cat it murders. He killed those cats. Those feline bodies are buried somewhere in Gotham City right now. Yeah, so that's... um. Yeah, so that those were some of his posts on on something awful. Um, it, holy shit! Well, it did take me a while to w read it out, but what a trip! Um, this guy must be into public humiliation if he's like this, you know. Well, two thousand and seven, Joshua Moon was posting these fucking fantasies about killing his mother in two thousand and seven. Now I don't know exactly how old he is. I, mean, I think he's around about my age. Like he's in his late thirties. Aren't we all now? But, um... Okay, 2007 says... What, 16 years ago? Which would... Probably when he was 16. Oh, so he's living at home. No, no, no. He was living at home with his ma in, like, his early 20s. Fantasizing about killing her. Now, huh. now that's not all of them, by the way, in this clip. Uh, the, the bits about, like, uh, ritualistically torturing the cat and slitting his mum's throat, that came later. That's, uh... Wow, blast from the past. Thank you, Pond, for reminding me how talented I am. Yes. You should also play the clip of, uh, you uh, responding to, uh, Josh, uh, ratconning. <laughs> oh, no. Oh my god, he laughs so much. What did Josh have to say about me? Punch Prime for five says, Josh, you hate Ranbot. Uh, he says you don't like him. 
uh, he don't like him because he didn't agree to an interview with you and he sent you a meme of I slammed my penis in the car door in response to your request. Is this true? I don't remember ever asking Rambot of anything. I have no interest in talking to him. He's that one of the most lie. fucking grating people to even listen to. I hate, like, I hate. Wow, Josh, so you just get a flat out lie. Yeah, he did straight up ask you for all the dirt and deeds. I, I remember. Dude, Josh, like, you did ask him for an interview. We, we literally, we literally showed you messages like on the stream, bro. So, wow, you, you're just going to do that, nigga? You're just going to straight up lie? Wow. Okay, Josh. You go, you go, and, spin oh, yeah, yourself, you go and spin yourself enough rope to hang yourself there, buddy. Ever asking Rambot of anything, I have no interest in talking to him. He's one of the most fucking grating people to even listen to. I hate, like, I hate listening to a clip and incidentally hearing him in the background. Like, with, when Claire Bear was talking to him, like... I could never imagine wanting to talk to Rambot. He has nothing to say about anything. There's no take oh. from Rambot I would ever want to hear in regards to anything ever. And if that was different in the past, I, I literally don't even remember it. I could be wrong, but I don't remember it at all. Wow. You are so full of shit, Josh. And it's, pl it's plainly obvious that you're full of shit. Did you even, convin did you even think you were convincing? Did, did you think you were like convincing the crowd there, Josh? I talked so hard he can't even acknowledge it. He's so fucking mad. And it's because I've been right about everything. I told him that his retarded libertarianism was going to mean that his site was going to, like, run out from under him and and just, uh, you know, become an anti for attack site, which it did. I was right about that. And look at the mountain of shit he's had to deal with as a result of Yeah. It. <laughs> I fucking, I fucking you die. Did you see Borzo in the yeah. chat? Do you, do you really think the <laughs> owner of an intelligence laundering site would do that? Just go on the internet and tell lies? <laughs> the, the, part, the part where you're like, I hate. <laughs> God, he's so bad. <laughs> he's so fucking bad. He's so far ahead, he has to pretend it didn't happen. <laughs> you know, Pon, I, I put, I'm crying. I put, I'm I crying this, about it. I put this to you. I, I think I, I think I may have squared this circle. Working every day, I keep this side out, a side up because a Kefels has nothing on you, Rand. Well, you're that powerful. <laughs> let, let me let me run this past you. If <laughs> I'm fucking crying. If and and we know we 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 know that Josh has actually worked with intelligence services in the past. If Josh had an assurance that uh, Kiwi Farms was never actually going to go down for reals, that Kiwi Farms was going to be maintained as an intelligence gathering site, well, it makes sense that Josh would be more upset with me than with Keffels. Keffels was only a, a temporary distraction for a limited hangout and uh kiwi farms was always going to come back up but me well i actually personally hurt josh's feelings so i present to you that the reason josh hates me more than keffels is that keffels was just a limited hangout but me i hurt his feelings for real <laughs> <laughs> that just makes it better like shit you serious let me laugh harder all the sweeter <laughs> all the sweeter <laughs> no it didn't happen no, no I never asked him for anything and did I really quick deep I hate I hate when he's in the background and when 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 when, uh, when Claire's talking. <laughs> that real quick. He, could, he can't even be honest with himself and admit to himself, man, I fucking hate that guy. <laughs> he has to have some excuse. I just hear him in the background as Claire's talking. <laughs> Well, you see, the, the thing about that is he, um, it, yeah, he mentions that he listened to one of the shows I did with Claire, and he uh, goes, like, oh, it was so hard listening to Rant. Well, if you go back and actually listen to those uh, those things with Claire, Claire and I were having a back and forth discussion. I'm like, I'm like 50% of that stream, right? I was going like, I'm just trying to listen to Claire and Ranbot mm -hmm. is talking. 
Well, I'm uh, going I to slightly. I can't imagine what it's like listening to Rand. Well, here's here's the thing. Here's the thing. Fuck with. Claire was listening to me. Claire was responding to what I was saying, and I was responding to what she was saying. It's 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 a thing that normal people do. You were fifty percent of her stream, but no. not by uh, voluntarily, but by because. Are you cut out because there? of drunkenness. Oh, because of drunkenness. Oh, dear, oh dear. 